everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Rachel. I am a speaker, an author, a business owner, and most importantly for today, I am an accountant. I'm the founder of one of the UK's fastest scaling accounting firms where we work with over 800 clients to help them to feel better about their finances. So if you are a small business owner, a freelancer, you're self-employed, or you're another accountant and you are looking to find the best way to connect pots and saving spaces in banks like Monzo and Starling into QuickBooks, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do just that. So let's get stuck in. First, let's get set up on saving pots in Monzo. So we're gonna open our Monzo app and we're going to log in. To create a new pot, we're gonna tap on pots at the bottom of the screen. Then we're gonna tap create pot and you can name your pot. You can set a goal amount and you can even choose a custom image. Once you've set up your pot, you can then transfer money into it by tapping add money. Now let's set up some saving spaces in Starling. So we're gonna open up our Starling app and click log in. To create a new space, we're gonna tap on spaces at the bottom of the screen. Then we're gonna tap new space and you can name your space and set a goal amount. Once your space is set up, you can transfer money into it by tapping add money. Okay, so now we've got our saving pots and spaces set up. Let's connect Monzo and Starling into QuickBooks. And so this is gonna help us track our finances all in one place. We're gonna log into our QuickBooks account. We're gonna to go to the banking menu on the left-hand side and we're gonna follow the prompts to connect your Monzo account. And you're going to need to authorize the connection within the Monzo app. We need to do exactly the same thing for Starling by searching for Starling and following the prompts to connect your Starling account. So once your accounts are linked, QuickBooks will start importing your transactions. And so to account for your savings pots and spaces, we're going to set up sub accounts. To do this, we're gonna to go to accounting and then chart of accounts. We're gonna click on new to create a new account. Then we're gonna select bank as the account type and we're gonna name it the same name as your Monzo savings pot. If you've got multiple pots, you can create sub accounts under this main account. We're then gonna repeat this process if you are with Starling. So we're gonna create a main account for Starling spaces and then sub accounts for each space. Now, when you transfer money to and from these pots or spaces, you can then categorize the transactions accordingly in QuickBooks. And that's it. You have successfully accounted for savings pots with Monzo and Starling in QuickBooks. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified every time I release a juicy video like this one. And don't forget, I use the comment section of my YouTube channel to curate the content that you see next. So if you've got a QuickBooks question or you'd like another tutorial, just let me know in the comments and you'll see that video appear on my channel very soon. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you again very soon.